at America Trends, we only talk about what your social media says is trending, so let's get right back to it. Saudi Arabia, feigning bankruptcy, really? But is that really true? My next guest has a 411 on it. He's a terrorism a analyst and author of the book, The Brotherhood of the Red Nile Trilogy. Dan Perkins, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to have you. My pleasure. So you've written that the greatest threat to Saudi Arabia's hold on the oil market is, uh, get this, us, the United States, not Iran, not Russia. Tell yep. our viewers why you believe that's true. Um, I know that it probably sounds like it's crazy, but in reality, if you think about it, um, the development of the oil resources in the United States in the last 10 years have been nothing short than more than phenomenal. Uh, we have reached the point in a very short period of time that we are virtually energy independent. And we've gone from that, from being 65% dependent upon Middle Eastern oil to be almost independent. More important than that, Barry, is the fact that the Congress uh, last fall eliminated the 40-year ban on the export of crude oil from the United States, which was a result of the, um, the Saudi Arabia's cutting off oil in the Carter administration. So now there are no limits on the American oil company to go out into the world markets and compete. And if you look at what's going on in OPEC, uh, some of the nations are virtually on the, the, veg, uh, are on the edge of bankruptcy and anarchy. Uh, can you imagine that you can't find toilet paper in Venezuela and that they've told the people that they're going to shut off the lights for 30 days in the, in the capital? In Venezuela, Nigeria is no is no better off. They can't keep electrical power on. They can't uh, generate enough cash flow to buy food for their people. So the whole OPEC infrastructure is falling apart uh, upon themselves because they brought it on themselves. And America now has the opportunity to become the leading exporter of crude oil in the world. Wow, what a turnaround! It's a yes economic miracle for our country. That's for sure. Yeah. So what's what's going on with Saudi Arabia? My understanding is you've got this theory that they're they're terrified of Donald Trump being the president. Are are their fears warranted? Um, yes, in our favor. Um, <laughs> in our favor. Tell me why. Well, uh, here let me give you something that probably most people in this country don't know about. Do you remember when the president was doing his, his uh, farewell tour and he went to Saudi Arabia and nobody from the kingdom met him at the airport, just right. like the, the Castro brothers didn't meet him in Cuba? Right. He wasn't really supposed to go there unless he brought with him passage of or uh, sign off on um, a permission from the White House to sell arms to Saudi Arabia. Really? The House, the House said the um, the Saudi Kingdom and the King said to the President through the ambassador, "If you can't bring the assurance that you're going to release the weapons to us, don't come." He went anyway, and so now we've got a situation where the the Saudis have been locked into American armaments because the communication systems do not work from any other supplier. Germany, Russia, United Kingdom, none of their communication systems work with the existing defense and offensive weapons that they've purchased from the United States. So, so why, if they so want to continue did, why the battle we, in Yemen... Why didn't we let them have the weapons? They need our stuff. No, why, why didn't we let them have Why was the president blocked? Because the president wants to see Iran as the co-leader in the Middle East. So it was, it was presidential uh, decision-making, not congressional decision-making. Oh, yeah, the con Congress had already approved it. It was oh. the president himself who has clearly alienated. I mean, if you could go behind closed doors and listen to what the Saudis are saying about the president and the way he handled the nuclear situation uh, without even consulting Saudi Arabia, they are terribly offended at the ineptitude of our president and his lack of sensitivity to a long-standing relationship with Saudi Arabia. 
on his goodwill tour or his farewell tour, he went into Saudi Arabia to tell them what they need to do. He went to England to tell them what they need to do on this vote on uh, on whether they should stay in the EU. And he went to Cuba to tell the Castro brothers what they should do. This man is flying around the world telling the world leaders what they should be doing. For what reason? I, I don't understand well, that, why that's a, he's That's acting a whole that separate way. night. <laughs> that's a different show. Um, right. you, you've said that Saudi Arabia going after the American fracking industry was designed to tip over or destroy the American oil industry. Absolutely. What, what did they do that amounted to an attack? Great question. On Thanksgiving Day in 2014, we were sitting at our tables having our Thanksgiving dinner, and OPEC was meeting in Vienna, Austria, and they decided that they were not going to cut production of crude oil. That decision caused in one day the price of crude oil to drop almost $5 and started a slide that took it to $26 a barrel in February of this year. They said the weekend after Thanksgiving that the reason why they were not going to cut production is they wanted to drive the price down to drive the American frackers out of business. Got it. They saw them as competitors. Didn't work. They're still fracking. Uh, there's not as much as they were, but they haven't shut down. Just to give you an idea, Barry, right now there are 465 rigs drilling for oil and natural gas in the United States. Okay? That's way down, isn't it? Oh, from 2100 a year ago. Right. Do you so, know how many are drilling in Saudi Arabia? Less? Nine. Oh, wow. They're leaving the oil in the ground. Right, nine. There's no reason for them to drill holes in the ground because they can't sell what they're pumping now. So what, what, is, this, what is this Saudi Arabia claim that they're going to go bankrupt in four to five years? Is that, is that bogus? No. Last year, they lost 27% of the GDP for the entire country in the decline in oil revenues. They had a $150 billion shortfall in their budget. And this year, and, and last year, the average price of crude oil throughout the year was $49 a barrel. This year, so far, the average price of crude oil is $29 a barrel, and they're estimated to lose another 85 to $100 billion in revenue out wow. of their budget. So America's now energy independent. Last question, yes. real quick to wrap it up. That scares Saudi Arabia? Is that what Absolutely. you're saying? Absolutely, because we can we can pump, and we can do it in such a way is that we can be we can capture market share from the Saudis and OPEC all over the world. Wow, that scares them. Well, the world's certainly changing. Thanks so much, Dan, for being with us today. Uh, up next, we're going to ask a retired uh, Navy SEAL commander what he thinks about female Navy SEALs. More American trends coming up. Stay right where you are, America.